Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa were at the forefront of the recipients of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, his Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, upon his arrival to the Kingdom of Bahrain following his victory in the Ironman Championship that was held in Kuna in the United States. The championship witnessed the participation of more than 3,000 contestants from all over the world. His Highness Sheikh Nasser's victory is an achievement that is added to a number of achievements made by His Highness in numerous international tournaments. Also present at His Highness's reception was the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, along with a number of members of the royal family. His Majesty the King, along with His Highness Sheikh Nasser, then proceeded to the honor podium where the Royal National Anthem was played. Following the national anthem, His Majesty the King and His Highness Sheikh Nasser headed to the reception hall at Bahrain International Airport, where senior sports official, heads of sports federations and athletes congratulated His Majesty the King and His Highness Sheikh Nasser on this great sport achievement. His Majesty expressed honor and sincere congratulations to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for this achievement, which was the result of hard training and excellent performance. His Majesty the King also stated, that His Highness Sheikh Nasser has made his motto the Year of Gold, which was a promise that was kept by His Highness Sheikh Nasser as he delivered his victory. His Majesty praised the spirit of determination His Highness Sheikh Nasser possesses, which is a feature of the Bahraini youth who have proven their ability to compete and excel in their fields, stressing the keen interest to provide all the care, support and encouragement for young Bahrainis to continue their success in sports on this occasion. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that His Majesty the King is his role model for making achievements at various levels, especially sports. His Highness also expressed honor and happiness for His Majesty the King's reception following his victory. He added that such achievements shed the light on the Kingdom of Bahrain and provides a positive image of the country. He expressed thanks and appreciation to all who congratulated him for his achievement and highly valued the kind sentiments of the Bahraini people, as he promised them, with even further future victories. 
The Information Affairs Minister and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, Ali bin Mohammed al ramihi in an exclusive interview with Al Ain News Channel, stated that the suspicious media campaign against Saudi Arabia is not the result of present-day events, but rather a deliberate campaign that has been ongoing for more than 30 years. Al-Ramehi pointed out that Saudi Arabia has constantly managed to overcome these malicious attacks that reflect an adventurous media culture set up by malicious media in order to undermine the security and stability of the region. The information minister stressed that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia shall always remain the defender of the Arab and Islamic nations and their causes under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. Al-Rumehi concluded his statement by reiterating Bahrain's firm stance on solidarity with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in regards to all the measures it takes that preserves its security, stability and sovereignty, stressing Bahrain's absolute rejection of all these offensive attacks and misleading media campaigns, which will not achieve its dubious objectives thanks to the Saudi people's solidarity with their leadership. The Bahrain National Theatre witnessed the launch of the Bahrain International Music Festival in its 27th edition, which was organized by the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. That's being held until the 27th of October, where Iraqi artist Hussein al azami held a musical concert. On this occasion, the BACA president, Sheikh Amay bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, said the festival is an annual event that provides means of cultural communication through the language of music thus building bridges between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the world, as it reflects the beautiful image of Bahrain and the spirit of openness and coexistence. Sheikh Amay also pointed out that the Bahrain International Music Festival this year was keen to host Bahraini musical talents through a variety of activities, highlighting the music of Bahrain in general and Muharraq in particular, which comes as part of the celebration of Muharraq as the capital of Islamic culture in 2018. The Bahrain International Music Festival this year includes a number of public events that vary from exhibitions to lectures and artistic evenings held in various cultural sites in the kingdom, such as the Cultural Hall, Bahrain National Museum, the Art Center, the Tree of Life, Dar al Rafa, and Dar al Muharraq. French magazine Familia Chrétienne published in its 21st September edition a report entitled Catholics in the Heart of the Arabian Peninsula, which show the aspects of tolerance, peaceful coexistence, and religious freedom in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The magazine held an interview with a member of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad International Center for Peaceful Coexistence, the Bishop of the Northern Arabian Peninsula, Bahrain, Qatar, Kuwait, and Saudi Arabia, Bishop Camilio Balin, where he spoke about the openness of the Kingdom of Bahrain, citing it as different from the rest of the region. The magazine also quoted a number of live testimonies of Christian residents from Sri Lanka, India, the Philippines, the United Kingdom and Iraq, all of whom praise the extent of freedom and religious practices, tolerance and coexistence in the kingdom. Bishop Camilo Palin said Bahrain is a model country that enjoys absolute freedom of worship, adding that what distinguishes Bahrain from other countries is what it has a more open interpretation of Islamic law and teachings. He continued to state that Bahrain has a large church, the Sacred Heart Church, which is located in the capital Manama, accommodating 1,000 people. He pointed out that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa gave Christians a land area of 8,788 square meters for the construction of the largest cathedral, which is the Cathedral of the Lady of the Arabian Peninsula. The supervisory committee distributed over the four governorates of the kingdom continue for the third day in a row to receive applications for parliamentary and municipal elections. The first and second days witnessed the intensity of the number of candidates wishing to run for the elections. The chairman of the committees confirmed the presence of several stations within the supervisory centers to ensure the smooth movement in the process of receiving applications for candidacy and verification of the required documents and documents required by the candidates smoothly the centers provide evidence indicating the conditions to be met by the